Hi, and welcome to another edition of Off The Page. Today, um, I'm really excited to make this video because I get to share something fun today, and that is um, this idea that we should be celebrating more what we are doing in the classroom and beyond. This idea comes from, well, it should be in every book, but it actually comes specifically from the book that I wrote with my colleague, Julie Costin, um, and it's called 30 Days to the Kotak Classroom. And that book is broken down into 30 days. This is day 30, um, and simply called Celebrate. Um, and I just wanna say a couple of things about this idea of celebrating, and the, the maybe the most important um, of the two things I want to share is that it's really important for all teachers, whether or not you're in a co-teaching relationship, to take some time on a regular basis to really celebrate your successes. Teachers are, um, I think, reluctant to do this, not because they can't appreciate what they're doing well, but I think oftentimes because they're just so busy with everything else, it doesn't seem like a priority. Um, so I would like to say um, thank you and express my gratitude to all of the hardworking teachers who are changing the lives of so many kids um, with and without disabilities. Um, you know, anybody that's working um, to support our diverse learners. I just, you know, I'm really hoping that this idea in some way, shape, or form resonates with you and that you might be able to figure out one way to bring more um, celebration into your days, weeks, months, or year. So this first idea is essentially taking some time in every single team meeting to um, share a little gratitude or to share a little celebration. So that means starting that meeting before you even get into any curriculum, any student needs, but a minute or less to just share what's going well. If you're meeting with your co-teacher, um, you know, every day uh, for 15 minutes, this could even just be, you know, a very brief 30 seconds sharing a student success. It could be, it could be even sharing a better problem than you had before. It doesn't even have to be that you solved the problem, but things are better. It might be that you had a good connection with a parent. You tried something new in the classroom. You took a risk in a lesson and it worked out. Um, you got out of a, a teaching rut. You, you all tried a, a parallel teaching lesson and you hadn't done that before. Um, you know, you got that class pet that you had been planning on and you finally, you know, um, decided to go for it um, and you you know you're you're having fun um, sharing that with the students really it could be anything and um, I really encourage you to think about this because it can really set the tone for the meeting in a new and different way so 30 seconds to one minute you could even take turns back and forth who's going to share that sort of piece of good news uh, when you get to the meeting the second way to think about celebration is to more formally think about it. So how could you bring celebration into your uh, relationship? For instance, um, you might think about, you know, once a month, if you're full-time co-teaching partners, going out after work once a month for an hour and just debriefing and a little toast to how things are going, getting something to eat maybe, um, or even if it's just a couple of times a year and you don't have time to do that on a more regular basis. Um, if you don't have time for even that, there are lots of other, what we call really like low key, or in the book we call them hold the confetti celebrations. So you don't have time to go out, you don't have time to have a classroom party, <laughs> um, but what can you do as a kind of a hold the confetti celebration? So here's a couple of ideas. You could um, just order lunch in. You could, uh, you know, just give a little thumbs up from across the room and let your partner know, you know, things are going well or you just observe something really fantastic. You could just share a little post-it note with your partner about a celebration that you noticed. Um, you, could, you could post some Twitter. Um, you could go on Twitter and post a few success stories um, for colleagues, for others that are in your professional learning community. You might um, just have a snack together. I mean, if you can't do any of those things, just something, um, you know, something small. Get a bag of pretzels from the vending machine. And you can even break the last one in half so you can each have a piece. Aww. Um, you can, uh, you know, share a small gift or token. Um, maybe even you got that new pack of Sharpies. You could even share one or two 
your co-teaching partner. I hope one or more of these ideas is helpful to you and that you will we, yeah, you will immediately be thinking about something you can celebrate on your own or hopefully with your co-teaching partner. If this tip was helpful to you and you would like more, please visit me at www.paulacluth.com to see all the videos or just subscribe to my YouTube channel and we'll let you know every time a new video is available. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time on Off the Page.